Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what today's secret going to tell you spread for all of my Libras out there. So let's get at it. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Show them cards I need to see. Show them cards I need to see. What do they see to tell all of my Libras out there? What do they see to tell all of my Libras out there? One more shuffle. What do they see to tell all of my Libras out there? There we go. Cards that need two. There you go. Feels fantastic. And it looks better. It looks even better. It looks even better. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First up, we got the Four of Pentacles. So you got somebody that's trying to hold on for a short success, okay? So this person's feeling like, hey, all I need to do is just hang on to this situation. This is something good. Just hold on to this. Now, this is someone that you are already in um, a relationship with, okay? All the I's are being dotted. All the T's are being crossed here. We also have the sixth of pentacles here as well, okay? So this person definitely believes in, uh, in having an equal give and take. This person is a very charitable individual, somewhat of a very, very charitable individual here. Um, this is the type of individual that would most likely probably like volunteer like a food shelter or a homeless shelter or something like that. Um, yeah. Also, we got the sun card here representing things are pretty much popping on all cylinders when it comes to like there being a sense of being ha happiness and things of that nature here. So material abundance, happiness, that sort of thing. All that's popping here. We also here have the four. Of wands, four of wands, representing a situation in which uh, this per person believes in like having a, like a long-term committed relationship, um, building like a solid foundation, if you will. So everything is moving in a very positive direction here. Now this also happens to be a water sign individual here. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, or it's someone that's really manifesting water-like tendencies. Uh, this person is very generous with their time, very generous, very courteous. As I said before, with the uh, with the Six of Pentacles here, this individual, you know, kind of uh, um, really, really, really believes and really like community outreach, those sort of things here. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups here. Ace of Cups representing this person is definitely deeply, truly, if you haven't already guessed it, this person is deeply, madly in love with you, Okay. Um, this is a very, very deep, very robust love that we're talking about here. Um, and finally here with the Four of Swords here. This person's done a lot of contemplating, a great deal of contemplating, a, a great deal of reflection, if you will. So this person, putting, it, put, putting this into layman's terms, this person has done an awful lot of, 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 of um, really deep, reflective searching if you will searching themselves to really you know to really help kind of help them put things together here this person um uh, really much believes in the uh, in, in in the um really much believes in this relationship and i would absolutely say that you know uh Bearing something, cra barring something crazy, this person is definitely wants to marry you. And I, I feel that it's a marriage that will last. It's not one of these drive-by marriages. This is, this is something that's going to last for a little bit. But with all of that being said, we got to look at the potential blockages, guys, because there's always blockages. So the, the blockages, in other words, are things that you need to watch out for. Not things that are necessarily going to happen, but potential things that could happen. I'm, I'm, I'm clarifying this because someone had a, um, a question about it, so I'm clarifying, okay? So what are the potential blockages that we could be looking at here? What are the potential blockages we look at? Here? What are the potential blockages that we're looking at? Here, here we go. <clears throat> Some cards need to see. Some cards need to see. Some cards that I need to see. Here you go. Okay, so potential blockages, three of pentacles. That represents the situation. There's a possibility that you work with this individual. Uh, you're, you, deal, you deal with this individual in a work, a work type of setting, if you will. Um, and, and, and the potential blockage here could be 
Uh, some businesses have very clear parameters on dating in, in, in their office dating, that's, that sort of thing. So that could definitely be something that could be a potential issue here. Also, um, if there's not someone that you work with, someone that you work have like a, a, a type of relationship with in like a, um, a, a, a work like and work type of environment, if you will. OK, so again, um, you can work very closely with this person with a, with in, 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 with someone else at your job or whatever. You know, that could also cause a potential problem, if you will. OK, make things complicated, if you will, rumors and so forth and such. Also, we got the lover's card here. Lover's card representing here uh, this issue of someone is looking for a, a, a twin flame connection here. Now, whereas though this may be a very good robust fit for you guys, okay? This person may not necessarily be your uh, 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 twin flame here. This could be someone that's could be, a, this could be a soulmate connection. This could be someone that you just really get along. Everyone these days is always looking for their quote unquote twin flame or soulmate. There are people out here that you have chemistry with where things work out great that may not necessarily be your soulmate or your twin flame. I know I know it's gonna be hard for hard for some people to hear, but there are relationships that last that are very robust robust, meaningful relationships without the individual necessarily being um a twin flame or a soulmate connection. I just want to put that out there, okay? All right. Works better when they're your twin flame or soulmate. I'm not saying it does, but you can have some people that are your soulmates and things just kind of break apart in a really in a really rancid way. Just put that so I just sorry for my little rant, just wanted to put that out there. Okay. Also, we got the devil card here. Now devil card can mean quite a few things in this particular in this particular case. We could be dealing with an individual here that has some addictive qualities here. Um, you know, again holding them for a short success. That could really, um, really quickly become a person that's madly obsessed with you, okay? Um, now, if you're together and this person is obsessed with you, I guess that could be somewhat of a good thing, I guess. But, um, you know, to make sure the person's into you. But over a period of time, that could become problematic. There also may be some underlying uh, alcoholism uh, issues here with this individual as well or p potential opiate issues you know dealing with the stresses of work and things like that again this could be something that this person does on a recreational basis you know just to keep give them a sense of balance a lot of pressures depending on the work that you do but over a period of time it could end up becoming a problem and again I want to stress that this is what potentially could be down the road. Not necessarily that it's going to be. This is just to kind of give you a peek in the window to say, hey, look, this is what you need to watch out for, okay? So, also here, we have here, we have the King of Pentacles. King of Pent Pentacles, a person is really down to earth, really grounded, really makes wise decisions when it comes in terms of finances, okay? Um, this person is very generous with their time and energy and things, things of that nature. Now, that's, that's a good attribute, okay? But over time, if you're too generous, you're giving it all away, you're not saving anything, this person may be a little bit too generous with their finances and things like that. Whereas though they should be saving, they're giving it away, okay? And that, again, in and of itself could turn out to be a problem down the road. Not necessarily right now, but, you know, um, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Also, we got the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is all about communication, articulating one's perspective. So... Um, you know, that's, this is telling me that, you know, this person may not always be able to articulate their perspective clearly, especially if it comes in terms of when they're trying to hide something, if there's like some addictive issues here, they may not be able to, to tell you, articulate that they're having an issue right away because of embarrassment, things of that nature. So that's something to watch out for as well. And finally here we have the hang the man energy here. Okay, hangman energy. So, uh, potential over a period of time, especially if there is some kind of addictive qualities, or addictive issues, or whatever that may come down the road, things are kind of because this person can't articulate this perspective to you, things are going to kind of become stuck. Okay, there's going to be a sense of stuck energy here. So, uh, that's definitely something that you're going to want to keep an eye out for. Now, with that being said, let us see. Uh, let us see. What additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down? 
What additional information is Spirit want to get before I shut this thing down? What additional information is Spirit want to get before I shut this thing down? What additional information is Spirit want to get before I shut this thing down? Cards need to see. The cards need to see. And cards I need to see. There you go. Okay. Spirit saying, first up, consistency. Make sure that everything remains consistent. This person is consistent with their actions, uh, consistent with their words. They, you know, just kind of make, making sure every, everybody's on the same page. Everything's consistent. Everything is moving in the positive direction. Just keep an eye on that. Also, Spirit saying, brilliance. Continue to let your brilliance shine through. Don't dull who you are. Don't change who you are. You're moving in the right direction. Continue to let your inner light, your inner brilliance come through here. And also, finally, be prepared for a shift. Okay? There's going to be, uh, there's definitely going to be a shift in polarity, a shift in energy here, a shift in perspective here. So that's something, again, some things may, you know, there may be some revelations of some of some addictive issues here. Uh, that That's a possibility that that may, something like that may be coming to light. So there's definitely going to be a, a shift in energy here. Not saying that you guys won't, won't be able to work this out, but just keep an eye out for that. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Real quick housekeeping, thank you guys so much for all of your well wishes. As I said before, when I learn more, I will make a very, I will make a, a specific video uh, addressing that very issue. Okay, so I'm going to keep you guys in the loop when it comes to my daughter. Also, um, don't worry about this, guys. I'm going to kind of like a little bit of the dumps. You guys know I'm going to shave this, you know, go back to the gym, get myself nice and tight. So it's been a little bit, uh, dealing with a little bit of stuff there, but I'm, I'm getting myself out this funk here. Hey, even... Even Adonis, <laughs> and you know, the new age shaman goes through depression, so I kind of got to balance myself, level myself. As you can see, I'm feeling a lot more juvial. So thank you guys so much. Your well wishes and the energy you guys are sending me and my daughter, they're really helping. Thanks again. Back to the reading here. So uh, this is a general love reading. I mean, I resonate with everyone, okay? But if it does resonate with you and you... You and you want to know more about this particular situation, I will definitely leave a link down in the description box below. Make sure you get your guys self, get you guys a personal reading if this resonates with you. If it doesn't, just take this part of this reading that do resonate and disregard the rest. Also, if you haven't already, please like, please share, and absolutely subscribe. It really helps the channel, but more importantly, it really helps the algorithm, really help me really push my style of tarot out there to others that may enjoy this very unique style of tarot. So I love you guys in advance so much. Thanks again. Madonna's. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.